Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and behind me is the stump that would not die. I'm tired of messing with this thing, so today we're going to get rid of it completely. To skip the long intro, I'll tell you the story of this stump as we go along. Let me jump in a machine. Actually, instead of jumping in a machine, the first thing I want to do is grab a leaf blower, blow all the dust off this, and see how much is really left sticking up above ground level. Okay, so I think I'll go get the backhoe on the tractor and come try digging around on this, see if we've got any areas that are loose or we can start to make some progress on. As I sit here and edit this video, I'm really more impressed with how hard my grandson's working in the background than I am by what I'm doing in the video. That kid loves tractors and he's always trying to tow something. <laughs> and of course that power wheel is didn't get the deluxe tow package. Now let me catch you up on the cliff notes of this stump in case you're just now joining the Odyssey of some guy spending way too much time trying to remove a stump. So I own a stump grinder and I've probably got more than 20 videos on this channel of me grinding stumps out. And that would have been the most efficient way to get rid of this. But I like to try different things and use different attachments and I actually asked the audience after I cut this tree down, I kind of took a poll of how people wanted to see me do this. And a lot of people said, burn it out. So that's what I did. And I get comments all the time on stump removal videos saying I should burn it out. Well, after trying to burn this out, it may be the last one I ever do. And I would have continued burning it until it was finally gone, but we're under a burn ban right now because it hasn't rained in a month or more. So... I'm not waiting on that burn ban to end or I'm not letting this drag out any longer. So what I was left with was the decision if I wanted to grind out a really irregular shaped stump or dig it out. And it still would have made more sense to grind it out except that I've already dug this hole around it so it would have been awkward getting the grinder in here. And the backhoe was already on the tractor. So I said, what the heck, let's waste some more time messing around with this. So, I've got a heck of a lot of digging left, but I just broke this with the uh, backhoe. That is a big old root. I get a lot of comments also telling me that I should have dug a certain stump out or how easy it is to dig a stump out. Well, that's not my experience. Unless you've got a giant machine, digging a stump out is very time consuming. And this is the most difficult stump I've ever dug out. And I run into all kinds of problems. Now, as far as the size of this stump, I cut down a tree that was 36 inch diameter or 32 inch diameter, something like that, up at chest height. But as a stump grinder, if I came to quote this, I would call this like an 8 foot diameter stump because 
That's how far the grind radius is. So it's all in how you measure it. And the fact that this was not a dead tree. It was a healthy tree and it was had a huge canopy on it. Should have prepared me for how difficult this would be to dig out. The problem with using a tractor back hoe to dig stumps out is partially about the limited reach, but it's also that a lot of times you just can't break a tree root. Or it takes a lot of tries to finally snap some of the larger roots. And that was the case here. But basically you can take out just about anything with one of these little backhoes if you're patient enough. I'm guessing that at the point you're watching now, I've spent an hour and a half digging all the way around this, about as far as I can reach, or as far as it felt like I had this, the pulling power to break roots. Because the further away you are, it feels like you lose a lot of your power. If you listen right here, you can very clearly tell that something is wrong. If you guys want to see the video of me repairing the track, I'll link to that at the end and in the description. Okay, so it is now the next day. I was 100% confident I was going to stay with this until I got it done. And then we had a problem. If you follow the channel, you know what that problem is. I got the skid steer down in the hole, and I was digging this out, and I went to turn, and the track pushed against the stump, and I was driving backward, and it rolled the track off of the idler's front and rear. And I spent the rest of the night getting that track back on because it was almost dark when it happened. So, I've had a busy day today, but I'm back for this stump. Now, I've dug as far as my backhoe will dig all the way around this, and that didn't solve it. So, now I'm going to have to get down in the hole to make more progress. I was going to just get the skid loader down there. What I thought would happen is that I would break all the roots from up here with the backhoe, 
get the skid loader down in there and just get under it and push and I'd be able to wiggle it loose like a loose tooth. And that did not seem like it was going to work. That skid loader is powerful, but you know, tree roots are unbelievably strong. So I think what's going to happen next is I'm going to drive the tractor down in here and dig roots deeper with the backhoe. And one way or another, this thing is coming out of the ground. I've messed with it for way too long and it's time to get it done. At this point, I've dug out over halfway through the diameter of the stump and I've broken a lot of roots and I've broken big sections off each side and I cannot even wiggle that with this machine and just boggles my mind how strong these root systems really are. And I guess it makes sense when you think about the fact that the tree had 20,000 pounds up in the air withstanding a windstorm, that they need that root system.
To finish the conversation I was having earlier about the best way I could have removed this stump, I know that grinding it out would have taken me maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half with the grinder I have to get all the way below grade and out to the roots that are running away from the tree. And I've probably spent four hours digging it out tonight, not to mention the time I spent burning it. But just let's forget about the burning and say I just wanted to dig it out. I've spent over twice as long, put more hours on the machine, and used more fuel. And the only real advantage here is that I'm not leaving the, that root system below ground to rot and sink down. So, why would I do it this way? And the answer is that my content falls into a couple categories. One is me showing you something I would have been doing anyway. And the second category is testing out different methods for educational purposes for me to learn what something's capable of, but also to provide perspective for some of you guys. At this point, I went and got this precision manufacturing tree puller, which obviously is not designed to do what I'm doing right now, but I've started to think of it as a stump bucket, and I've been putting it on anytime I want to put a lot of force into a small space. I'll give my little speech here that I don't receive any compensation from Precision if you guys order one of these, but you can save 5% on a tree puller at agfolks.com by using code ROCKHILL5. So I was about to start filling this in, but it's 8.25, probably be dark within 15 minutes. I'll fill this in most likely tomorrow because I, once this stump was out, I'm redoing this whole thing. So wasn't the best way to do it. I don't know. I had a heck of a good time though, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. I'll put links on this screen right here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.